What is up guys, Solid Nate here, and today I have a whole bunch of pickups I got when I was recently traveling for a concert. And so many of these were done on Facebook Marketplace. In fact, pretty much all of them were. I did get some things from GameStop as well, uh, but I'm, all, I'm gonna mostly show the Facebook Marketplace stuff. So let's just get right into it from the order that I received them. The first things first is I was looking for a lot of 3DS's and 3, 3DS products, DS products too. Anything Nintendo actually. Just been on a massive buying spree. And so the first thing I located was this 3DS. And so when I when I went to get this, I, ex I was thinking it was going to be a 3DS XL. And then I got there and it was just a regular size 3DS. And I've never actually owned one of these, and so I thought to myself, I'm like, well, a 3DS is fine too. The, I, actually, I'm, I actually have owned one of them once, actually. I took, I had one, and then I owned it for a little bit, then I took it back because I got the 3DS XL. I think at the time they were the same price. So it's like, you may as well get a bigger screen, right? And so that's what I did. But here we are, I'm reunited with the 3DS original size. And it seems like it's mostly in good condition. Uh, I haven't really used it yet too much other than turning it on, but it came with a charger and this is this is going to be a big theme in this video. Very rare to find consoles for these handheld systems that have chargers. It's crazy. They just never do. Um, this is a little screwdriver. I don't know why he included that or what that's for. This case also has a little game case hold a game holder. There's no games in here though. It was just the console only. But it came with this nice carrying case. Uh, there's no stylus either, but there was this stylus on the side included uh, Pokemon one. That came with like Pokemon Yellow or something like that. He gave all this to me for $85. I've never looked in these things here. Anything in there? No. Um, I don't think so. No. You could tell that this guy here was a real gamer. He took care of his stuff. Many times what you run into is people that are just like people that somehow got these items but they're not even really theirs or something like that. You see that a lot. You could tell this guy actually took care of his stuff and this was definitely his stuff. So we're gonna put that right back in the case how it was. I don't know. I never like, use a case for my stuff. But we're gonna put that right back in the case where it came from. And the second thing I bought, so guys, you guys can keep a tally if you want. I guess if I'm really ambitious, I might keep a tally too on the screen. I could do that for you. $85 so far. The second deal we got was $100 for another DS, and I also assumed this was a 3DS XL. By the time I got to the scene, I realized no, it was just uh, another 3DS. <laughs> Regular one, uh, black. Another one that's in pretty good condition here. I mean, there's not a whole lot of problems with it. But this guy actually got me, he actually screwed me over. Um, I'm too trusting of a guy. So, it, first of all, before I get to that, it did come with three games. Paper Mario, Sticker Star, Paper Mario, Sticker Star, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, and Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story. I believe this is on DS as well, and they must have added something to it. But all the games are there, I checked that. So three games plus a D 3DS, and it, came, it was for $100. The problem with it, it did, did have a stylus though, um, I think. Yeah, a stylus did come with. But he claimed there was a charger, and let me show you what he actually gave me, and let me show you what happened. All right, so this was like one of these times where I actually got scammed a little bit. I saw this little plug-in, this, this little cord I should say, inside this blue carrying case and it was tied up in a, in a red rubber band like so, okay? It was like this, except for it was really tight. And I said, so what's the deal with the charger, you know? I said, okay, what's going on with this? I knew it wasn't the official charger, you know? So I'm like, what, what's, what's the deal with this charger? He's like, oh, I mean, I just got the cable. You just have to find like a box and it should work. And I was like, okay. Um, and see the problem with paying in cash, guys, is rarely you have all this change. And so normally what I'd do in this situation is I'd say, okay, well, you don't have an official charger, so let me go down to 95, because he wanted 100 bucks, but he made it sound like he had the real, the real charger. 
well, no, he just had this. And so normally I'd talk him down some and say, okay, maybe 90, 95 bucks. Then they'd usually agree to it and you can take you can take it for less. But I only had a hundred dollar bill. You know, I didn't have a bunch of change. Maybe I had eighty dollars, you know, but I didn't have a bunch of change, and so I didn't have ninety-five dollars in, in, in cash, you know. So that's a problem with cash, and if you're gonna be doing these deals, you gotta have a lot of different bills. Because by the way, another thing I noticed too, people want cash. People don't actually want, you know, Venmo or PayPal or something like that. People are looking to have cash in hand. It's really crazy. Like, we're not really adopting to the new technology. We're not. We're not going towards that as much as you'd think. But anyways, you guys might say, well, what's 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 wrong with the cord? This does not fit. <laughs> this does not fit, and I think he knew that. But it doesn't even fit at all. Not not even close. It's it's a really old USB cable. And so this doesn't have a whole lot of value to me. I mean, maybe a little bit of value, but it's not anything with this that I can use. So. I got screwed. He knew he knew it wasn't gonna work. I texted the guy after the fact, like, "Hey man, would you mind sending me like ten bucks? Cause it's gonna cost me like ten bucks to buy a charger." Didn't respond. I was stuck with it, but I'm still happy with this deal, though. I think it's still a good deal for what you get. I'd say these games are worth like fifty, and then you get a 3DS for the other fifty. It's it's not bad. So I'm happy with the deal. We'll take it. Um, no harm done. I bought another charger from. Um, China on eBay for like five bucks so that's on the way I've not received it yet and then finally the other thing well I mean I wouldn't say finally we got a lot more to go but we got one more item this was the next item in order it was a 3ds XL no games uh, no stylus no charger um, he did have the cable though he had a cable. I th yeah, he definitely had a cable. I don't know where I put that. It must be in my bag. Um, but yeah, guys, this one, I need to have a little bit of my TLC. Really greasy. Uh, the condition is not bad, but there's even like some sticky stuff on there. And it's just really gross. Like there's some pieces of the case missing on the back I noticed right now too. Um, the condition is not very good, but it was only... I think I got it for 70 bucks. 70 or 75, I have to look back at my thing. Cause I talked him down some once I, once I saw this and there was no stylus and all that stuff. Wait, there is a stylus. Sorry guys, there is a stylus. There's a stylus, there is just not a charger. Okay. So I talked him down, I think just $5. There's also some distortion that happens on the, the top screen. And so I know a person can fix that if they want to. I don't plan to do that, but anyway, we gotta we gotta give this thing some TLC here. I'm gonna probably just leave it open because it's so sticky. And now we're gonna move on to the next item in the thing, and that would actually be a Nintendo 64 bundle. So let's check it out right here. So another person that knows how to take care of their stuff. It was actually a girl. Which she knows is always a surprise, a little bit, <laughs> when you see a girl with gaming. But she has this N64 console. I've never checked this. Let's see if it's a jumper pack or an expansion pack. I, I'm sure it's not an expansion pack. But we can always hope. One, two, three. Jumper pack. Yeah, I would have loved to have that be an expansion pack, but nah. No such luck. Those are hard to get. Those are expensive, too. But yeah, there's a little bit of uh, damage on here. She, she mentioned that right here. There's like a cut someone made in there. So there's some damage right there. That's okay. Price was right. This was $180. No, $170, excuse me. Came with two controllers and the joysticks were pretty good on these. Again, this person knew how to take care of their stuff. These are both official. They're not, they're not perfect. They could use some cleaning, especially this one here whole bunch of stuff on that so I could yeah could definitely I'll be cleaning that one for sure but um, also came with some pretty good games so WCW NWO Revenge Pokemon Snap 
Rugrats scavenger hunt. F zero X. And I don't know where I put it. But there's definitely a Mario Kart 64, and I've already sent sold a Super Mario 64 and a Glover, which I had duplicates of those already. And I got 55 bucks for those two games, Mario 64 and Glover. But anyway, there was a Mario Kart 64 with there in there somewhere. Um, I'll find that at the end of the video here. You guys can look forward to that. And if not, you can assume that that just didn't come with it and I never checked, but I'm pretty sure I've seen that, yeah, it, it, had, it came with that, so. That's definitely a part of this. And the Nintendo 64 actually came with this. Beautiful baby. <laughs> As Battletoad Overload says, it's a Sylvania VCR CRT TV. It's got, it's got some composite cables, uh, mono stereo uh, in the front. And in the back, what do we have? I don't even know myself. I haven't examined it yet. Coax. And that's likely all we're going to get. There's all the information on it. Yeah, pretty late model. Uh, October 2000, that's not bad. But yeah, let's see. Nope, nothing on the sides there. And nothing on this side. So, you have composite on the front, coax on the back. Should be all a guy needs. That's a stereo. That's a headphone port, I think. Is that is that is that what that says? Hold on. Um, yeah, it says earphones. Yep, that's right. So there you have it. Um, I haven't hooked this up to see if the VCR works yet, but definitely something I will be doing. Now we're not in the last piece yet, but we're getting down to the bottom of the barrel here. The second to last deal I made was a great Super Nintendo bundle, so let's just take a look at that as well. Here's all the games, we'll look at that one by one. This is another guy that really paid attention to his stuff. So, we're gonna take this out of the bag. You guys know what a Super Nintendo looks like, so I'm not gonna go crazy on showing that, but... Super Nintendo console, all the cords, Two controllers, RF, and he even has composite cables. Yeah, he has composite as well. The the console and the controllers have a little bit of yellowing on them, but yeah, they're they're definitely official controllers. You can tell. Definitely official stuff. So we're gonna put that back in the box. Yep, power cable, official power cable, RF adapter. Well, we're just gonna set it aside for now. And here's the composite cables. So, um, I never examined these until right now, but this is not the official stuff here, is it? That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I didn't examine it until right now. Oops. That's okay. But yeah, you can't really do a lot with just these, can you? You have to have the actual thing to plug in. But hey, he threw it in there. He could have just had RF. I have a bunch of those anyway for the 64 Super Nintendo. Um, so here we have some extra composite cables, but I cannot use it with the Super Nintendo, so I don't know why he even put those in there. You can, right? I mean, you... No, you gotta, you gotta have the adapter. Yep. Gotta have the adapter. You can't just plug these into there, so... You can use it on an NES, but you can't do it on a Super Nintendo. So anyways, let's get into these games. Now this is where, this is where it gets really neat. As far as this bundle's concerned. Let's go one at a time here. Now this guy just had really nice labels on his games. We have the Lion King. Beautiful copy too. We're gonna have to beat that one. Super Mario World, better than, better than the copy I had as well, so very nice. Got that. Mario All-Stars, another game that I have a copy of, of course, but uh, beautiful labels, like there's no problems with these labels. Just awesome to see that. This was, by the way, $190. Street Fighter II, really good label. DJ Rudin. Tetris II on the Super Nintendo.
All right, Aladdin. Every one of these just has such a nice label here. Donkey Kong Country. And I don't know what this one is, but we're gonna have to try it. Mech Warrior 3050. Yeah, like I said, every one of these is just a great label. They really are. Okay, so is this Lester the Unlikely? I think so, Lester the Unlikely. Man, look at this, a Greatest Hits version, Player's Choice, Super Mario Kart. Beautiful, Batman Forever, never really played this one, that'll be fun. And is that the last one in here? What is this one? Yeah, Battletoads and Double Dragon, baby. So I think this was a really great bundle for 200 bucks. I mean, I love it. I love seeing the condition. It's just absolutely fantastic. So we're gonna take really good care of this. These are gonna go on my gaming shelves and not on that, on, not, 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 in, not in that bag. Uh, okay, so last but not least with the Facebook Marketplace sales is this PSP 2000. So for the next item, we're actually going to go to a cafe on our way home where I took this thing out of the packaging and looked at it. Okay, so this is a PSP 2000. I'm actually reviewing this in the cafe, uh, Big Lake, Minnesota, and someone's, someone's taping me right now. But anyway, so this is a PSP 2000. I got it for $40. He had it listed for 60. But he mentioned that there was this tape he had to put on there because the battery falls out. So that's gonna be an issue. And he didn't even have a charging box. I, I, this is crazy, guys. I cannot find a portable handheld with these chargers. So what he had here instead is he just had the USB for it. This this is a good plug. It's going to plug into the play, PSP, but it's just a USB, so I'm going to have to plug it into my computer or else find another box. But guys, I'm super stoked. I already powered, powered it on here. It said in the ad he had some Final Fantasy games installed. Look at this. Final Fantasy... Uh, or that's Y7, and then he has Final Fantasy IV The After Years, and Final Fantasy IV, along with Final Fantasy Tactics. Now that's really cool. And then Final Fantasy III on the PSP. Um, temporary Game Boy Advance mod. Hmm. And we'll have to look at that, and then I don't know, Pro, pro Update. But yeah, it, this he didn't mention it, but it actually has a SD card. Um, I don't know how much space. It might be a 64 gigabyte card. But yeah, I'm going to be pretty stoked about that. Let me actually try it right here while I'm on there to get over to Final Fantasy Tactics. That was not advertised being on here. He mentioned he had 3 and 4 installed. But if Final Fantasy Tactics is on here, that may warrant yet another playthrough. I've already played, played it uh, once all the way through and then twice, starting it and almost finishing it. But yeah, this one looks like it works. So this is a game that I've definitely had my eye on for a long time. It's a, one of the reasons to have a PSP. He has it installed digitally. So I don't know if this is all legit or what, if he just has some type of mod. If it is a mod, that's okay. That means I can put other games on here pretty easily. So hey, if it's a mod, that's all the better. Um, so yeah, that's the PSP 2000 for 40 bucks. I'd say pretty good deal. And yes, Big Lake, Minnesota, we purchased that one. And once again, it didn't didn't come with a charger, but it did come with like a cable I can plug in. And that's in my bag, and so I can't show that, unfortunately. But it was just the bare cable. No, it's right here. Here it is. So you can plug it into a computer, and then the back goes on here. So that's how he did it. And I asked him the question, because I'm like, well, where, where, where did the charger go? Because I'm always so confused about where people put their chargers and stuff, because so many people lost their chargers throughout this journey. And he said, oh, I bought it like this. So people just lose chargers, you know, they, they really do. But the really cool thing about this, I've already covered this, I suppose, I forgot about that, <laughs> is it comes with all those Final Fantasy games. I just realized we can't use it to play games, can we? <laughs> yeah, we can't. That's why it was so cheap. It's only pretty much gonna be for playing those Final Fantasy games, because you can't even open up this spot. I'm not gonna try, I don't wanna mess with it. But he has he has a bunch of tape all over this. So, no wonder he wanted to unload it. See, that's see that's the thing there, guys. 
Um, Many times you run into like these scams or like these weird situations. You got to really examine it closely and see. But there's an SD card on this. I could probably, I think it's modded. So I could probably install a bunch of good stuff. Wouldn't even need to play games. I have another PSP that, that has a slot available for that. So apparently this is a PSP 2000. I wonder if there's a place I can verify that. I can't see a spot here. Oh well. It looks very similar to my PSP 1000. That's why I'm wondering, but... Okay, so I have found the Mario Kart game. And I also realized there's another game in here I didn't actually show. So, I forgot to show this. Here's the cords for the 64, you know? Uh, these are legit. That actually works on the Super Nintendo as well. So the power and the composite input. But there's also a faded copy of Mario Kart 64. I own this one already. And then Tony Hawk's Pro Skate Skater as well. So that was the 64 bundle. Before we wrap up this video, and I don't, I don't make pickup videos that much, so it's like, may as well, right? Let's go over the quick GameStop pickups I got when I was there. Uh, this was in Minneapolis when I found all these things, by the way. WWE 2K16 with Stone Cold Steve Austin, PS3 game. I was using my GameStop $5 uh, coupons as well on these. Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City on PS3. See, this this actually comes with The Lost and the Damned and the Ballad of whatever on here. So this is a really good thing to have. I was very happy to see that. So, very cool. For Honor on PS4. This was a free game. Crazy. It was only $4. And then we have WWE 2K15 with uh, John Cena. So, very cool stuff. That is actually going to conclude all the pickups I had. And I'm pretty much set on having a ton of games for a long time. So I went on like a pickup rampage. <laughs> I just was making deals all over the place. I was just all over the place, like buying, you know, doing all that. I didn't do any sales when I was there. It was only buying. So I just picked up a bunch of stuff. I thought to myself, man, I should open up my own, uh, my own game store. It's just, wow, I got so much stuff now. So final notes before I uh, conclude the video. When you're doing these Facebook Marketplace deals, definitely thoroughly check all of the stuff before you take it. And if there's something that's not in the order that you, was, that, that you were expecting it to be in, like let's say you get a knockoff charger, or let's say, let's say the condition is worse than you thought, you know? You can usually talk people down. Another thing to do with that, make sure you have extra cash, different bills. If you agree on 100 bucks, make sure you have cash for 95 or 90, depending on what you feel. Because many times you come and things are not like you, like you expect. There's some problems with it and you're kind of just like, oh man, well, this is not what you said or this, this is not what I was expecting. And so usually you can talk people, da people down. And so I definitely recommend, recommend that when you do these deals. I haven't even checked Facebook deals for a long time, actually since since I got back here like a week ago. But I should probably go on there and see what's going on in my area here uh, again, you know, because yeah, there's usually quite a bit of good stuff available. So with that said, guys, take care.